Hello everyone, it is Susan here, and I'm continuing to work in this watercolor journal that I bought off of Etsy, and I decided I wanted to mix a little bit of a, a little bit on the coral side, and I started with Pie Roll Scarlet, it's all Daniel Smith paints, then here I'm adding in some cadmium, yellow medium, but I wanted it to be a deeper color. So I took just a little bit of permanent red deep just to make it um, a little bit darker of a shade. And um, it looks like I'm grabbing a lot of it there, but I'm not. And um, yeah, so I was happy with the way that this color looked. So now I'm going to my watercolor journal and I'm going to go ahead and paint um, some flowers and I'm going to let you listen to some music and to watch the process and I will be back. And I'm adding a little bit of a deeper color here to give some shading. And in a minute, you'll see me add even a deeper color. The deeper color, I believe, is Quinn Magenta. And what this does is it gives some depth to your painting so it doesn't look so flat. So uh, I'll go back to the music and let you enjoy. And of course, I have to do some splattering while it's wet. And I am using the yellow to splatter in that wet paint. And I'm going to lift it up so you can see how it just blends beautifully. Uh, definitely one of my favorite, favorite things to do with watercolor. So I'm going to go ahead and add the stem and the leaves and um, I'll let you go back to music. I started with um, a lighter shade of green here. I believe it was olive green, but then I went and I added undersea green. Undersea green is a nice deep green. I think it's wonderful. It's a wonderful shade for leaves and stems. And, and I thought that it needed it. I thought it was a little bit too light and I wanted to give it some more definition. And now I'll be adding some uh, buds to this painting.
when I was painting this flower over here to the left, I ended up making it, I think, a little too big. Uh, when I look at the composition now, um, it needed to be, I think, either smaller, further away from the big flower, um, or just in a hole, like maybe higher than that. Um, I mean, it turns out okay, because in the end, I'm going to add some gold to it. Um, I'm going to be using the Aqua Bronze Gold by Schminke uh, that I have. And um, yeah, so I mean, it turns out fine, but I don't normally like to have flowers or really anything that I do in exact order like not directly side by side so if i had one thing to do over in this painting that would be it I'm adding a little cluster over here to the right of the page. There was definitely some space there that I wanted to fill in. And as you can see, I mean, I went um, very, um, a lot shorter than those other um, buds. And I think that it, you know, it's more pleasing to the eye and it also helps to fill in the page. This flower I had to add because I needed something at a different height on that side of the painting. And this really helped to make the composition make more sense because like I said, those other two flowers were just too close. So by me adding this really long stemmed flower, and it's a little flower, right? Um, it is exactly what this painting needed. You can see here that I'm really adding very wet yellow paint. And I just let that blend and do its thing. And now I'm showing you the aqua bronze that I have just totally enjoyed using. And I'm a little addicted to it, I must say. I, I Yeah, I am, but I love it. And all you do is you add water to it. And um, what I like to do with it, sometimes I either add it into my paint or I use it as an accent to my painting. So it does not take a lot of this powder at all to, you get a lot out of a very, very little bit of powder. But 
what is good is that you know if you can't use it all it reconstitutes just like watercolor does so you, you know don't feel that you're wasting anything because you're not so just make sure that if you do use this and um, you know that it's on something like a plate or something a palette something that um, you can leave it there and go back to at another time to continue using it so you'll see here I'm just going around the painting and adding uh, you know little details here and there This last layer of splatter is mainly gold and you can just see that gold sit on top of that paper. It is amazing. Um, and it has just a little bit of that, um, that main color from the painting in it. And I'm holding it up so that you can see nice and close. And that is my finished painting. I, again, I'm totally enjoying this particular watercolor journal made by White Pigeon Bindery on Etsy. I can highly recommend it. And uh, yeah, I'm loving it. So thank you so much for being here and for watching. And here's a couple photos for you to see. I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.